everyone and welcome to Royal Fashion News. My name is Brittany and today is Tiara Tuesday. I know guys I haven't done these in a little bit of time but it's been really busy these past couple weeks. I was in Boston and then I was on a family trip so it has been a busy time but I'm so so glad to get back into the swing of Tiara Tuesday and today we're going to be talking about one that we recently saw on the Princess of Wales and that is the Lotus Flower Tiara. So this is one that Catherine debuted after her wedding and it was the new tiara that we saw her in in 2013 so it was her first one besides her wedding tiara that she wore and it was a super exciting moment for a lot of people because it was great to see especially this piece be in back in the main line of the royal family. So this tiara originally belonged to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. It was originally a wedding gift to her by her husband, the eventual King George. And he had given her a necklace. And she decided, well, you know what? I am not a fan of this necklace. It was a necklace from Gerard. And so she asked if it could be dismantled and repurposed. And this happens a lot in royal families, especially I feel like back in the early 20th century this would be something done it's like well I'm not really not really liking that so let's redo it they don't do that as much anymore I don't think in part because it just seems something too ostentatious to do so she reformatted or had Gerard reformat it into what we now call the lotus flower tiara because it has this lotus flower or papyrus leaf motif and it's really something that dominates a the piece there are diamonds and pearls within it and so this was one of the pieces that Queen Elizabeth wore early on in her marriage and she also wore it low across her forehead. This was a bit of a style during the 1920s and this tiara featured heavily in some of the memorabilia and portraits leading up to the coronation of King George and so this was one that got quite a lot of views and and in 1959 before her marriage to Anthony Armstrong Jones Princess Margaret was gifted this tiara to wear and she wore it quite a Bit. And alongside the Baltimore, it was one of her most frequent tiaras that we saw. And then we eventually saw it on her daughter-in-law. So in 1993, Viscount Lenny married Serena. And although they have now just since divorced, she wore this tiara on her wedding day. And then once Margaret died in 2002, we did not see this tiara at all. And there was a question of where is it? Is it still in the main line? Is it outside the main line? Does Serena have it? Does Margaret's daughter Sarah have it? Where, where is this particular tiara? Well, in fact, we have found out that it went back to the main line, which does make sense because obviously the Queen Mother had died earlier and this tiara event originally belonged to her. And although it was gifted for Margaret to use, I have a feeling it was probably still technically part of the main line and still part of technically all the, the jewelry within the family. Because obviously, eventually Princess Margaret's tiara, the Baltimore tiara, was actually sold to cover her, to cover death taxes. And the reason for that is that those taxes are rather high and so oftentimes families do have to sell historic pieces. And the Baltimore was one that specifically Margaret purchased. And so that it wasn't part of the original sale made people speculate that hopefully, fingers crossed, it was part of the main line. And then wouldn't you know it, in 2013, during her first diplomatic reception, we saw the then Duchess of Cambridge wearing this tiara yet again. And it was a super exciting moment. And then she wore it for her first big estate dinner in honor of the president of China. Now, I will be totally honest with you guys. This is not my favorite tiara on Catherine. I don't think it really looks all that great on her. <laughs> I think she actually looks utterly fabulous in the Queen Mary's Lovers Not tiara. That tiara just really, really fits her. I just don't like this one as much, but there was a question. So after a while, after this 2015 dinner, Catherine then started wearing the Queen Mary's Lover's Knot. And everybody was like, oh, the Queen Mary's Lover's Knot. She's wearing Diana's tiara, even though it's not Diana's. It's very closely associated with Diana. So she was wearing this tiara. And I wondered as the queen passed away, would she get access to more tiaras? Would she change up her tiara game? And while this is one definitely she wore, has worn before, she did decide to change of her tiara game and debuted this at the recent diplomatic reception and she was wearing a Jenny Packham dress and this was just a really gorgeous piece. I loved also too that Catherine changed up 
her tiara hair. So instead of having updo, she actually wore her hair sleek and down. We haven't seen her do that before. So bravo to Catherine for trying something different. I'm always a big fan of people trying something different. But I will say, even though she, I think Catherine looks stunning, not saying that, I'm still just not a fan of this tiara on Catherine. But again, it's a gorgeous piece, very reminiscent of the Art Deco period. I love the fact that Catherine now gets to rewear this piece. Maybe this will be one of the first ones we see on Princess Charlotte, although I'm still, fingers crossed, for the Strathmore Rose tiara. I'm still hoping, 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 we see that on one of the royal ladies. So guys, that is all I have for you today on Tiara Tuesday. Let me know what you think. Are you a fan of this tiara on Catherine or do you prefer the Queen Mary's lover's nut like I do? And no, no worries either way what you think. I'm just curious because honestly, this is just not my favorite on her, but I still think she looks gorgeous. And I just absolutely love that we get to see this tiara again. And I am always a fan of if you are in a minor line of a royal family and you're looking at some big inheritance taxes, please please, please, please give it back to the main line of the family. That way, these precious pieces do not get sold. So guys, hopefully we will see more on Catherine. I'm still hoping that maybe she debuts the turquoise tiara that Princess Margaret used to wear. I think that would look fabulous on Catherine, the Persian turquoise. And I'm really, really hoping she does because I bet you that one is in the main line. I can't wait for that day. Hopefully it happens. Well guys, again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. These happen every Tuesday, except for when I am crazy busy like I was the last couple of weeks. And I can't wait to be with you guys again very, very soon. And I plan on getting all caught up with some of the fashion videos that I missed. So again, guys, I appreciate you watching and look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.